Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get all the updates. We're going to say for today's video, so I'm doing sample two from Blind Barrel. So they uh, reach out to me like, hey, you know, we have this business and uh, uh, once a quarter we send out a blind box with four whiskeys. Uh, you sample them and then you scan the QR code. And then you can find out what they are. And if you like it, you can, uh, there are four different ones, uh, whichever ones you like. If you like all of them, one of them, none of them, well, I guess not none of them. That doesn't make sense for what I'm about to say. Uh, you can then order them from their website, which is really cool. And I just found out that if you uh, if you do order through them, I saw that, that they were commenting to, uh, back to people. And they're like, yeah, and if you type in Whiskey 10, you'll get 10% off anything that you purchase through the website. So that's cool. So I didn't even realize that uh, when I made the first two videos. So... If you are interested, I'll put that in the description box. I'll put the uh, link to their website and uh, I'll put that Whiskey 10 promo code for you. Uh, but yeah, so I, I really enjoyed the first one. And I mentioned in that one, that review, that when I, I hadn't scanned the QR code yet, and I didn't know if all four would come right up. And not that I would look ahead. I, that doesn't interest me. Like, that, that's not the point of this to me. I don't, you know, I, I want to go in not knowing what their tasting notes are from the distillery and from these guys. I, I don't want to know too much about it until after I get my thoughts and, and form my own thoughts, right? So I was really happy that when I did uh, scan the QR code, you have to individually click on the four. So like I only did sample A, so I clicked sample A and it only it opened up and only gave me sample A's information. Um, some people might want to do all four at once and then they can click through, which is nice. People like me are going to do one at a time. It was just, it was, I really appreciate that. I'll put it that way. Cause there was no temptation to keep reading and see what B was. And you know, I, I guess you could easily just click on that one. But anyway, got my little cheat sheet. Like I showed you swapped out. So I got their uh, nice uh, matte finish box. Um, I just wanted, I do want to see the ABV, which they right in the back. So it is 45% ABV, and it looks like it was aged for two years. Um, I didn't look for, far enough down to see the distillery. Not that I would know the distillery, because they, they go with small craft distilleries. So this one has, it's like, um, it's it's in the honey realm. Um, I think I've definitely seen honey this color, but I don't think, like, all honey is this card. Maybe it's a little darker. Um, but yeah, it looks looks very pretty in the glass. Um, some legs forming, not surprising there. Let's continue aroma. I get a good amount, and now I kind of wish I didn't read that it was two years uh, aged, because this one, it's been about a week in real time. I know I'm posting these a week uh, uh, between the two A and B samplings. But in the real world, with me actually consuming them, it's been about a week. But I'm remembering this one, it, I think I'm remembering correctly, this one does smell more like oak. Like that's more prominent. Little cherry, little cinnamon. Nice vanilla. Like a sweet, hmm, what is that? Yeah, it's not particularly, it, it, okay, this is reminding me of the other sample. It's not maple syrup, but it's a little syrupy. The alcohol is there, but it's not overpowering, which is nice. A little bit of corn. Slight spice note. It smells really good. It's getting to the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Blind Barrels. Hmm. Clove. Clove with a little bit of that cinnamon. And the clove, coming from the beer background, a little bit of dried banana, but like makes me think of like half of Eisen or something that has like a, you can get like some clove and banana notes. I just love having a cheat sheet. Uh, they have a cheat sheet. Well, I guess it's kind of a cheat sheet. You know, like things I'm noticing. Um, I mentioned corn a little bit in the aroma. I can see some sweet corn in this. And yeah, that in the aroma I mentioned, it's not maple syrup, but kind of like a syrupiness. It's for me, it's hitting somewhere between 
caramel and like a simple syrup. So like like I was saying with the aroma, just kind of like a, a sweet salt, like a, a, a sweet liquid that doesn't have other flavors going on or aromas going on. So like it's like you're starting there, but approaching this caramel note. So it's somewhere. I, don't, I just don't have a, a better descriptor for what that specific note is, but it's somewhere between those two things. Um, a little bit of honey, and again, you get that clove with a little bit of cinnamon. So you know, baker spices to be fair. Um, you do get a little bit of the vanilla, like I got in the aroma. For how much, like how obvious the oak was in the aroma, I'm not getting a ton of it in the taste. But what is there of that vanilla is nice. I don't get nuttiness. The alcohol is not too much, so I really appreciate that. Actually, banana is one of the, is on here under fruity. That is something that you can get. That's really interesting. Cause again, like I, I, I do like, I don't know if I, if you didn't watch my other videos of this, um, I do like some whiskeys and bourbons. I do like to throw in the rotation sometimes, but it's still something I'm learning about in very real time on camera in this moment. So like, again, I just, to me, this is just such a great business idea. I know I talked about like Shark Tank and stuff that did the unboxing, but like, it's just from a business point of view, I think it's so smart. And the fact that I'm, you know, I've had two of the samples and they both are really good. And I'm, I'm not like, knowing what I'm drinking to be like, oh, I'm supposed to like Weller or whatever, right? Like, it's just, it's kind of cool to to be going in blind and being like, no, actually, I like this, and here's what I'm tasting. And I'm, and it's, the, the reveal, like, when, when after I did the uh, A and got off the camera, because I used my phone as a camera, right? And uh, did the QR code and then saw what it said. And it was cool, because, like, I said some of the same notes that the, that the uh, distillery said. So then, like, it was like, oh, cool. So, like, I'm not crazy. Like, I, I, I am picking up some of those things. But, um, yeah, I, I really like this experience so far. I'm, I'm two for two for enjoying the spirit, which is nice. And, again, just from, like, a business uh, uh, and then, like, the gift or a gift for yourself or for someone else, it's just it's such a cool idea. And I, a couple people have already kind of said, like, this is a cool idea or I'm going to get this for my dad or whatever. Like, yeah, this is rad. I mean, my own dad, when I sent a picture, he's like, man, we should be doing this together. It's like, yeah, but you're in Florida, dude, so sorry. Like, if you were here, we could, you know, you could come over or whatever. But anyway, people ex people have expressed interest because it's a cool idea is my point. Uh, I hear my dog being impatient, so I'm going to get going. But again, in the, if you're interested, I will, in the description box below, put their website. Uh, the promo code is Whiskey10. I'll put that as well. And then I'll copy and paste uh, what the QR code said about this specific whiskey. And I'm as excited as you to see what it has to say. So uh, uh, once you're done, uh, well, comment on things, because that's good. And then once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.